Now you were you were very, I mean, brutally honest, Joe, about your your battle with with uh, liquor, and and then you actually point to uh, the incident that happened with Susie Colber on TV as as a turning point in your life. Ta tell us about that. Well, I, um, I, 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 it's it's still tough to talk about to a degree, but uh, without sounding like. Uh, uh, an ignorant young man, uh, I, I didn't realize uh, what I was falling into when it came to drinking. Uh, I, I really, uh, it became a habit. It became a routine. It was uh, something that was uh, very easy to do and uh, a part of a daily uh, routine. And uh, I, whenever I I didn't recognize at first. My my former wife recognized uh, that I had a problem and uh, demanded, uh, so to speak, or asked me to get help. And I said, "No, oh, man, you kidding? I don't need help. I, I, if I want to quit, I'll quit." And so uh, I did. I did, and I quit for 13 years. 13 years and change, actually, and. And I was called what you what they call in uh, AA, where you can get a good education and continue to live that way. Uh, a dry drunk. Uh, I didn't I didn't touch a drop. And then I found an excuse to go back to drinking. And when I did find that excuse, and that's how it was put to me, how it was taught to me, uh, I, I used it as an excuse. Uh, uh, I did drink for another uh, couple of years, and that's whenever uh, the incident uh, happened with uh, Susie. And uh, when I heard about it, because I didn't even know uh, what I had said, what I had done that night, I uh, heard about it the next morning, and uh, it was uh, it was awful. What do you think? So, ha what would happen to you, Joe, if that incident hadn't taken place? Well, I, I really believe I wouldn't be here today. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be a healthy uh, Joe Namath today. I wouldn't be lucky today with my family living every day and sharing every day with the grandchildren and uh, living with my friends, sharing the old times like we are right now talking to you guys. I, I really believe I would have been somewhere else on a different level, not, not, <laughs> not how we're living here. I don't think I would have survived. So you were so mortified that what happened on TV is that the shame drove you to never drink again, right? You know, mortified, uh, I, 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 I was, oh, man, um, I let everybody down. Not myself, my, my, my family, my friends. Right. I, you know, I, I was crushed. Susie, I embarrassed her. Uh, I know what it's like to be a professional and doing something, uh, even back then, but to... Uh, put her through that to that degree. Uh, well, maybe she handled it beautifully. And, and when I talked with her that uh, next morning, uh, she was kind enough uh, and understanding enough to make me feel like uh, uh, she's going to be all right and for me to suck it up and go on. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so I reached out and I got help. I went and got education. And, uh, uh, you know, it was... Uh, it was awful. It was worse than throwing five interceptions in a game. You know, in a sense, uh, you think about embarrassing or walking in a locker room knowing that you're the one that lost the game. You literally caused a loss for your teammates and fans. That, that feels awful, man. It doesn't go away. But to think about your family and your friends and uh, uh, just the, the, the people that you've been around and, and how you how I behaved, uh, it was it was near crushing. It was uh, total. Uh, uh, let me get let me get somewhere and hide kind of thing. But uh, I knew that wasn't the way to go. Uh, so I, I needed to get help, and I went and got an education. And uh, to this day, uh, uh, I am uh, sober, clean, happy, mm -hmm. healthy, and. All the things, man, that I'm sharing today with my family and grandchildren and friends, I know, honest to God, fellas, I know I, I don't believe I'd be here. I wouldn't be alive today.